welcoming grizzly bears to the pool. It just implies the situation is already out of hand. Well, more and more people are saying, yikes, maybe it's time the Supreme Court adopted some kind of code of ethics. On the one hand, I love the Supreme Court. I love that they don't have term limits, and it's a comfort knowing that the people who could, at any moment, take my rights away on a whim, at least have to wear little matching outfits while they do it. Still, I think they should maybe get a code. So does the Senate. It is critical to our democracy that the American people have confidence that judges cannot be bought or influenced, and that they are serving the public interest, not their own personal interest. First, objectively and as a serious matter, I think a code of ethics would be good to have. I found their statement that they don't technically have a code, but have often found themselves inspired by the concept of having a code to be unsatisfactory. Second, I think the specific code that they would have to get now would be objectively very funny. If somebody who owns a Nazi tea kettle wants to give you free yacht and plane rides and buy your mother's house, you do, in fact, have to disclose it. Just a weird thing for the highest court in the land to have to specify. And to me, those are always the best codes. When people have to specify something that makes you go, huh. And finally, I think a code would be a good idea for building empathy. For years, the justices have just been going around living their lives in accordance with what they thought were the rules. And then suddenly, they're going to have to live by other rules they did not select and don't agree with? Imagine living like that under the Supreme Court. I say, give them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah.